Hi, my lovely ladies and gentlemen. Because I know there's some gentlemen on this channel as well. God, my voice, my voice sounds like, I don't even know, like, my voice is annoying me. But anyways, guys, this is like a continuation from my London vlog. So just know that I am back, like, I came back yesterday. So this is like, if you watch my London vlog, I'm going to link it below. You know that I was sick, so I'm still sick. I got London, I got Kotoku. Like, I traveled to go and cross Wahala. Sorry, I traveled to go and catch Wahala. I tried to translate it to English, literally. I went to London to go and carry Wahala, I Kotoku. See, basically, I went to London to go and fall sick. I'm so sorry, let me apologize for my voice, but literally, this is how I sound. I'm trying to sound better, but I can't. So, I'm really sorry. <coughs> So I just said to start this vlog now so I could do the mini haul and unpack them as well because it's just been itching my eyes the fact that it's just here and I'm not able to unpack them and put them where they're meant to be. So that's why I want to do this part of the video so I can just do like my mini haul because I know you guys love Ooh. you guys love videos of me showing you guys what I buy like when I travel and all of that. This is a very mini haul like I expect so much. Mostly perfumes. Mostly perfumes like who goes to London and doesn't get perfumes from Harrods? Like, Harrods is like the main place. So I just got a free perfume. Eh? Oh, I just got a food. <laughs> I just got a few perfumes. So let's just get right into the, the haul. Let me just get and rest. Let me show you guys what I got. I got a few things. But before we get into the perfumes, <coughs> Before we get into the perfumes, let me show you guys the other things I got. So, first things first, I decided to try Skims. I'm always seeing Skims, but I've been very skeptical about it because I feel like they might market that they sell for plus size people, but it's really a lie. Until I bumped into one video of a plus size, someone way bigger than me, wearing Skims. And I was like, okay, maybe they're not lying, let me try them. So I saw Skims when I traveled and I was like, okay, let me start with their tights first before I now start buying other things and see how it goes. I've not tried it yet, but I just got two of the same thing, just different colors. So this is what it looks like, just their normal tights. I usually get my tights from m &S. That's where I get my tights from normally because I wear lots of tights, especially when I'm wearing like something fitted. Yeah, I wear tights when I'm wearing something fitted to just help um hold everything together and just give you that um slick slick shape without plenty folds like that and also when i'm wearing things that are transparent as well so I, I have lots of tights but most of them i buy them from max and spencer so i decided to try skin so this is what it looks like i got one in black and one in like a nude color and i don't have any nude tights so i was like yeah let me get something nude just in case I want that option. And it looks very small. I've not tried it, like I said. I've not had the strength to try it, but they said it's really stretchy. And I got the biggest size, so it has to be my size. Because it looks small. This is what it looks like. But they said it's really stretchy. And it's very, what I like about it is that it's very thick. And I like it when it's thick. That means it's going to suck you in very well. And this is another thing that sold me. It has this um sticky thing, so you don't have to worry about it rolling down your tummy. So I got mine in a 4X slash 5X. If you guys can see it. And this is the black one. So same thing, just different colors. <coughs> I've not tried it. Maybe I'll try it later on. And I'll tell you guys how it fits. I can't even... I can't tell you how it fits yet because I've not had the strength tight. You guys know wearing tights. It's not something you just wear like trousers. You have to be jumping. Now that I have the strength to jump, but yeah, it looks like it's going to fit because it's, it's stretchy and it's thick. It's actually thick, so I have hopes for it. So yeah, these are the two. Next thing I got, um, I just topped up some of my skincare. Nothing serious. I got my hyaluric acid from Inky List and I bought my face cream as well. I got my face cream from Fresh. You guys know this face cream as well. Time for perfumes. Yay, we love perfumes. Yay. So I got two of these perfumes from the airport. And the other ones, I got them from Harrods. So let's start with the one I got from the airport. 
first one I got from the airport is this this Lancome Idol La Parfum this is what it looks like I've always wanted to try this perfume this is what it looks like at the back but it's like a 2 in 1 I don't know if it's a 2 in 1 but yeah from what I've seen here I think it's like 2 in 1 I don't know but I've always wanted to try this perfume I feel like that wrapper was making noise sorry when I saw it at the airport while I was coming back, I decided to buy it so I can try it. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's actually two in one. Oh, this is so cool. It's actually two in one. So there's a small one and there's a big one. Like a travel size and a bigger one. That's cool. Nice. To remind myself of the smell. Let's see. And I don't know if I've mentioned. I don't know if I've mentioned this on this channel. One thing I look at when I'm buying perfumes is the bottle. If the bottle is pretty. That is really 50% of my rating towards the perfume. But if the perfume smells so good and the bottle is ugly, I legit will not buy it. Like, I don't, is it just me? If it's ugly, I won't buy it. So, <laughs> the bottle is so pretty. I love the sleek design. And when I saw this online, I had a feeling that maybe it could not, I, th I thought it could not stand like this. But when I saw it in real life, I realized that the bottom is actually like this, so it can actually stand. It can actually stand. I thought it could not stand because it's so, it's so flat on the side, but it can stand for sure. <coughs> so in case you're worried about it like me, it definitely can stand. Oh, yes. Yes, I like it. Yes, this is definitely me. Love it so, so much. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty bottle. Next one I got from the airport is from Killian. You guys know how much I love my Killian. But this is different. This is different from the other ones I usually buy. This is a different bottle. This is called Angel's Share by Killian. And I love the bottle. Like, it looks like a whiskey glass. Like, that is what sold me. It actually looks like a whiskey glass. And you guys know how much I love my alcohol and my whiskey. And it looks like a whiskey glass. It's so cute. I love it. It feels like I have whiskey inside here. Lovely packaging. Lovely. Ooh, it smells so good. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, this is definitely nice. And I'm glad I got these ones at the airport. Because I saved a little bit of money, I guess. I can't remember how much any of them are. But just do your research. Check online. And it's definitely cheap at the airport because it's tax free, right? So, yeah, that is for this one. So, now let's go to the ones I got from Harrods. First one I'm going to show you guys is this one from Goldfield and Banks, Australia. This is what it looks like. Let me take it out from the wrapping thing because it's kind of reflecting so you can see it well. What am I doing? This is what it looks like on the inside super beautiful bottle it has like this gold cover here and this is what the bottle looks like i'm tired of spraying it on my body because i'm beginning to have like kind of a reaction let me spray it inside the cover wow yeah mm -hmm. this is very summery like this is a perfect summer perfume like it just reminds me of the beach like summer sun the beach <clears throat> that very citrusy um vibe like yeah very citrusy fresh vibe <coughs> guys forgive me i just feel like this video is not i can't i do you know what let's just keep on going next one is this from nishane is it nishane or nishan nishane this one here let me take it up from the wrapper as well. Right. This is what it looks like inside and it opens up like this. Huh. Packaging too bad. Opens up like this. And it has this there. Okay. This is what it looks like inside the box. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. Mm. yes 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 so yeah this is going
going to last way longer and it smells so good it smells wow it smells really good and this is what the bottle looks like up top this lovely bottle love it so much last but definitely not the least some this is one perfume that has been on my wish list for a long time and this is my first perfume from this house as well Initial. I've heard so much about Initio. I just never bought it and I was like, I need to try it now. And now, I'm trying it for the first time. And like Nishane, I'm going to buy more of this. I'm going to buy more perfumes from this brand because they're really good. <coughs> this is what it looks like. The box is so gorgeous. It's almost like this velvety. I don't even understand the texture, but it just looks rich. It looks very rich. So this is Side Effect by Initio. And it opens up like this. Ooh. And it opens up like this. Ooh. Guys. This is so gorgeous. And this is what it looks like. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. Gorgeous bottle. Let's spray. <coughs> This smells so so good. Oh my god, this is my oh my god. This smells so good. So so good. Current fave. I love this so much. Side effect. And yeah, that's the end of my mini haul. That's all I got. Like literally, that's all I like. Don't think there's something else I'm hiding because I received some comments in my DM telling me I can't wait for your <coughs> I can't wait for your luxury haul from this London you went to I'm like luxury haul okay I didn't plan this trip it was so impromptu so I don't have money lying around waiting for me to spend so yeah these are the things I got no luxury haul from this London trip if you love my if you have my taste in perfume I'm sure by now you would know my taste in perfumes I don't like something overpowering overbearing I don't like perfumes that are too strong I feel like you can spray something very long lasting but sweet and feminine and gentle. I don't like perfumes that are too overpowering that feels like makes you want to choke. I don't want people to be choking around me, right? But I like perfumes that when I spray, I make I make an impression but at the same time I smell sweet and edible and you feel like hugging me. Not the ones you feel like, um, okay, we've heard you, you're here calm down like we're fighting <laughs> we don't have to fight so if you have that same taste you will like my perfumes and i recommend them to you so yeah <clears throat> i'll see you later i'll see you later when i feel better i think that's when i'm going to pick up this camera again i just want to calm down focus on being better and i'll see you guys later okay bye <clears throat> guys am i late yes always late but the good news is that your girl is back to being herself i told you people in this vlog wait chop one the ac might be doing whoa. in this vlog i started off sick but i said see it's not gonna last for too long <laughs> my body is going to fight it and god is going to heal me <clears throat> i still have small cough but it's a lie i am better i treated the malaria and your girl doesn't have covid <laughs> i know i said it might be covid i don't know but i didn't have covid i tested for everything so no covid it was just a viral infection i caught from london apparently they have funny viral infections going around in the uk so i managed to catch one but yeah i took antibiotics i took my malaria medicine i've been taking my iron tablets because my blood was really low like you needed to see your girl i was so weak like my blood was very low so i'm taking iron tablets every day and just trying to eat my food that has a lot of vegetables but i'm doing a very bad job with that but i'm trying i'm trying my best so yeah your girl is back with her energy um i'm going to make my hair hence this rat chop you're seeing on my head see it was time so i'm about to go and do my christmas hair follow me as i go to do my christmas hair is nothing new like i've done it before just the typical um not less braids with the coily thing at the tip like 
really there's nothing new so i'm going to be doing that and i am late already it is almost 12 and my appointment is for 12 by the time i get there i'm definitely going to be late standard they're already used to me but hopefully they're fast because i told them to get two girls like two braiders so hopefully they're fast and i'm going to do my nails as well do my pedicure just almost like a pamper day right so let's go and do that i might not pour you, i might not bore you guys with the whole you know step by step and everything but i'll just show you guys what i'm doing and when i'm doing it and when i'm done so you guys will see the, the finished look and everything but yeah your girl is in high spirits today i'm happy i'm stronger and yes let's go make our hair so yeah guys there are a lot of tragedies a lot of deaths people dying accidents it's a very very down time for everybody just reflecting missing your loved ones people dying so young like accident suicide it's just it's really sad guys so just be safe out there you know be nice to people you don't know what people are going through people will just be smiling i saw on this our social media streets people will be smiling dancing having a good time you just don't know what they're going through and you just don't like it's just a lot sha. and i don't want to you know me i like positive vibes i like positive energy so let me just put this out there just be nice to everybody love everybody i mean we've, we should really know this by now it's not till someone dies they'll remember it but that helps as a reminder too just be nice to everybody and please have fun have a good time that's one thing i'll keep on preaching do things that'll bring you peace that'll bring you happiness if you're happy doing something it's not a waste of time if it's making you happy it's not a waste of time as long as it's not hurting anybody do you understand do things that'll bring you happiness joy because this one Oh, ah, papa, serious papa, because it, you just die like that. And that's it. Like, you didn't even live a good life. You were not happy. You were depressed. I know it's not easy to come out of depression. I understand. But if there's a way, if there's a way you can just, you know, do little things that make you happy and just make you smile and make people around you smile and just make people happy, it's worth it, though. It's really worth it. So, yes, let me just end this thing here. And... I'm sharing my love to all of you, sending loves, kisses, hugs, this festive period, those going through a lot, those remembering their loved ones, you know, those that are not here with us. Just say prayer for everyone and God loves all of us, okay? God loves all of us. Like, so the fact that we're still here and we're still breathing, God loves all of us, okay? So, we'll all be fine. We'll all be fine. Anyways, let me hurry up. <laughs> I'm gonna do my hair. One, I'll see you later, I'm boring. guys i just finished getting gifts for my nieces their birthday is tomorrow and the kind of traffic in town eh? i'm looking for where to go to, to just wait and eat something i'm really hungry but the traffic in town is so bad like it is so annoying actually i think i should find somewhere to eat but yeah i'm so tired like i left the house around 12 right and it's around 6 now but the traffic is mad and i'm just so exhausted like i don't think i slept all last night so i'm really tired actually plus my low blood that one day too but yeah let me find what to eat and just chill so we're sort of entering this traffic and best believe it's going to last till like eight nine or even nine ten i think so i don't understand people came here for christmas like it's actually annoying but yeah let me find something to do today is my niece's birthday the twins so they're turning eight today and we're super late my sister is going to kill me but we're rushing out now and yeah i'll see you guys when we get there okay 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 are we ready yes are we ready to party put your shirt down put your hand down put your hand down let me see your outfit Ooh, you look so cute papa we're ready to party we're super late but we're heading out now it is so dark people cannot see my outfit but yeah i'm just wearing this booboo -boo. Follow me on Instagram, you'll see my outfit. I did a reel for my outfit. So yeah, that's what we're looking like. We're waiting for Liam. Liam is wasting our time. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Liam. Hey, Liam. Are you ready, Papa? We're waiting for you. Hello. Hello. Any of the parents that want to use the phone to take pictures? Hey. Hello. Who are 
All right, who's coming here? Who's coming here? He said, uh, Tati Bilera. Apo, okay, Tati Apo. Guys, <coughs> still there, still there. Cough is still there a bit, but the feeling of taking off your makeup and doing your skincare, God, it feels so good after a long day. These days, I don't even feel like putting on makeup. I really do not feel like I have to really think about it. I was this close to not using makeup today, but I was just like, do you know what? Do you know what? Let me just apply makeup. Anyways, the event was good. We had a good time. I didn't record much. Like I always do. I never record much when I go for events. I don't know why. But I feel like you already get the gist. You already get the hang of it. Children playing. Adults eating, drinking. Children eating. Bouncy castle. Take pictures. Cut cake. There's really nothing much to show at the children's birthday party. Like same old, same old. So I didn't really record much. But I'm sure you've seen the clips of how it went. They turned eight. They grow so fast. Like, how are my nieces eight? Like, I knew, like, they were just babies the other day. How are they eight? Is it just me? Or is this where they're making everyone just sleep? Like, you just want to sleep and not do anything. Like, I'm always, like, now I'm feeling sleepy already. I'm always feeling sleepy and I'm always tired. So I just got back home that day and I just slept. Let's say I'm saying that day yesterday. I got back home and I just slept. I ate and I slept. I was so weak. The weather is so... It's just so perfect for sleeping. There's something about it that is perfect for sleeping. I don't know. Everybody's doing dirty December. My December is very clean because I just want to stay at home. I just want to watch. I enjoy lying in bed and watching people's stories turning up. Like that. That's actually what I look forward to. That's my day. So I actually love that people are doing dirty December so I can watch their stories and you know watch how they are doing their dirty December <laughs> through my phone. I don't want to do dirty December. I don't want to go out. I just want to stay at home. And yeah, guys, I watched this show on Netflix. Have you guys seen it? Is it Far From Home? Or not Far From Home? Far From Home. I'm not sure. On Netflix. It's a Nigerian series. God. Guys, we're doing so well. Like, I recommend it for you guys to watch. The show is so, so good. It's like about... Is it even high school? Or college? Or uni? It has to be uni because I don't understand how they're acting like grown-ups like that. I think it's about college. I don't know what it's about, but it's about school, though. And they did it so well, the directing, the acting. It was one of those shows where there's so many celebrities, but it wasn't annoying. You know, there's some Nigerian movies or shows where there's so many celebrities and you're like, it's not even called for, it's just annoying. Like, what are they doing? But this one, everybody brought their A game. It was actually not annoying at all. You'll be excited to see, like, these familiar faces because they were all doing such a great job at their own role. And it wasn't all of them that had, like, major roles. So I liked it, I liked it. No, they did, they did so well. I recommend it. Watch Far From Home. It's just five episodes, so it's something you can binge watch once and for all. That's how I did my I just finished it once and for all, and I didn't want it to end. I really did not want it to end. It was so good. It was so good. You guys should watch it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with my time today. Once I'm done with my skincare, your girl is going to watch other people's stories on Instagram, having their death in December. And I'm okay. <laughs> like, I'm fine. It's fine. I... I mean, I don't know. I'm just enjoying it, watching you post story. So yeah, I'll probably look for another show to watch or a movie to watch. And I'll probably drink some wine and I'll sleep. That's it though. That's the end of my day. We're going to do our family photo shoot tomorrow, like our Christmas photo shoot tomorrow. It's usually something very casual. I never do like professional photography. Like I, I try as much as possible to food. I try as much as possible to avoid professional photographers. I don't know why. I just feel like my phone can do the job. Actually, if my goal is to post it on Instagram, even some of the pictures I framed in the house, no, all the pictures, most of, at least 80% of the pictures framed in the house, I use my phone to take it. Like, I rarely, I really don't go to the studio or get a photograph. I'm not that kind of person. I'll use my phone, I'll take it, I'll edit it, and I'll post it and frame it if I want to frame it or enlarge it, whatever. So yeah, it's usually very casual. No, no professional photographer. We'll just give our nanny the phone or we'll use like a tripod and take the pictures and yeah that's what we're going to do tomorrow with our matching pjs that's it though for our christmas photo shoot nothing serious nothing serious i enjoy doing things like this because i feel like i'm creating memories for the kids 
so that when they grow up they can look back at it and even for me too when i see my kids how much they've grown i feel like it's something cute to see like every year what they looked like like almost like putting it together every december what they look like something i really want to do for as long as i can like i don't want to stop doing it so yes it's like a tradition for me and i'm excited to do it so yeah that's basically it though so let me sign off here and i'll see you guys tomorrow when we're ready for our photo shoot or before that i don't know but yeah see ya catch ya later bye look who's ready are you ready are you ready are you ready yes you're ready yes you're ready it's my own outfit how cute how cute i don't know if you guys can see but yeah mm. So I'm shouting World Cup. What I don't know if you're watching. He does not mind him. He doesn't follow football. I don't know why he's just acting brand new inside this house today. In the World Cup. Hmm. It's okay. Let's take our pictures. Hi, my loves. Um, let me just set you guys over here as usual because because just makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I just have this perfect space here where I set you guys up. Anyways, guys. So we just finished the photo shoot. See. <laughs> If you have kids, you already know how it went. Like, if you have kids, you already know how it went. I was so frustrated. I was so much in a bad mood. I was so angry. I was just so irritated. These children, they could not stay in one place. So, even thinking of vlogging was like, I was just like, let's just hurry up and get one shot. Like, I just need one shot. Just one shot. That's, that, that's all. Like, they could not stay in one place. It felt like they took sugar. I don't know who gave them sugar. They were just, just, just like, <coughs> oh, God damn it. Just know that it, it was a struggle but we eventually got our shots hopefully because i've not really gone through the pictures i just saw one i was like you know what it's okay everybody just go just go away like just leave my sight i can't just in case you see the pictures on instagram and you're thinking oh my god it was so straightforward it's a lie anybody that has kids knows that taking pictures with kids and you don't want to shout so much because shout on them they'll start crying which at some point liam said crying so and once the start crying is over like so you won't be like stop doing no stop doing stop doing that sage so don't, don't do <laughs> like just acting crazy these kids i can't deal anyways we're done finally and i'm so hungry i just realized i've not eaten all day i want to go and get food there's food there's rice at home but i don't think i feel like eating rice today is sunday so typical sunday rice and yeah I just want to eat the food at home. That's the head and tail of the story. My husband is on the same page. So we're just looking forward. We're just going somewhere casual. I didn't wear makeup. I just cleaned my... Because in the last scene, I'm sure you saw makeup on my face. I actually cleaned my makeup, did my skincare. Like, I'm ready to just go and eat. I don't have time to be dressing up and, nah, carrying my bag. <laughs> you see, I'm wondering, this is my bag on my shoulder here. So I'm just... This is a set from Ziggy Fashion House. It's no longer available, but it's just this and a pair of trousers. And I'm just being casual off i go to go and eat and yeah that's how the photo shoot went um see you guys okay <laughs>